Welcome to One Mint's NFT Art Generator Walkthrough. In this video, we will go over all of the steps needed to generate your NFT collection using our app. First, we find ourselves on the Settings tab. Here is where we will input all of the necessary information to generate the metadata for our collection. The first step is to add our collection name, description, collection size, and NFT prefix. This will be the name that the NFTs have before the number ID. After we have completed those steps, we will move on to change the export format. We can choose between WebP and PNG. This setting can be disregarded if we are using GIF or MP4. Also, we can change the metadata standard according to our project's blockchain. Now we will be moving on to the Settings tab, where we will create the layers and upload the traits needed to generate our collection. We will start by creating the layers. In this case, we will need seven layers in the following order. Background, face, mouth, teeth, teeth enhancement, eyes and horns. Now that we have created them, we can start uploading our traits to each of the layers. After we have uploaded all of our files, we can start setting up the rarities we want for each of the traits and layers. If we decrease the rarity on a layer, it will make the entire layer not appear on some of the NFTs, for example. If we take the rarity of a layer down to 75%, it means that 25% of the NFTs will not have a trait from that layer. Once we are happy with the layer rarity, we can start changing the rarity of all the traits we have in our collection. For this, we can use the scroll bar or click on the legendary Epic, Rare, and Common buttons underneath it, which will automatically change the rarity of the traits according to the tier we select. Now that we have set all of the rarities, we can go to the Preview tab. Here we will be able to look for any misalignments or incompatibilities that our NFTs may have so that they can be fixed before exporting the collection. After we randomize, we will see a token count right next to the button. This number should be equal to the collection size we have previously set. If it isn't, it means that the generator needs more traits in order to generate the desired supply of NFTs. The NFTs we see on the preview tab are the exact same NFTs we will get after we export. So to make sure we are happy with the results, we would highly recommend you do a quick overview on all of the NFTs before moving on to the export tab and generating the final collection. And with this, we come to an end. If you have any further questions, feel free to share them in the comment section. Ask us directly on our Discord channel or chat support on our website. Thank you very much for watching this video.